Hi everyone. My name is Coach Marie. I am happy to be back for Peak 6.0. I'm hoping that you're all participating and you're all enjoying it, earning your points. I also hope that many of you are in uh, actual in-person sport for spring, enjoying how that feels to be back uh, with other athletes and with your coaches again. I am happy to do this session with you today as part of our PEAK program, and it's about flexibility. No matter what activities you do, flexibility is a very important part, and that's where your muscles are long and they're relaxed, uh, and they don't stiffen up after your activity. The more you stretch, the more relaxed your muscles are going to be. So today's session is only about 20 minutes long. It's just a stretch flexibility yoga session. And you can do it in the morning when you wake up as mindfulness. You can do it after a program when you get home. Or you can do it on a day off when you just need a little bit of a flexibility practice. The more flexibility you practice, the longer your, your muscles get and the more relaxed they are and the, capable to do other things. So let's take a deep breath together. And let's get started on our mat. So for this session, you don't need runners. I am just in bare feet and I recommend you do the same thing. We're going to stand nice and tall on the mat. And if you need to pause, the video at this point to go get your mat, please feel free to pause it and when you have your mat ready to go with your space, you can continue. So stand up nice and tall and we're going to just reach our arms up and around to the ceiling and take a deep breath in and then a deep breath out. They come all the way back to prayer position and breathe in. Arms go up to the sky and breathe out and they come back to prayer position. Breathe in, arms go up to the sky and breathe out and they go back to prayer position. Now from prayer position, I want you just to reach down with your hands, reach all the way down to the ground. If you can reach your toes, that's great. If you can't, no problem. Wherever you can reach to is perfect. Then just reach, we're just giving a nice stretch for our legs here, a nice stretch for our glutes, and we're starting to lengthen the back. From here, I want you to take the back into a straight tabletop position, nice and flat, and then go back down and touch your toes, and then reach those arms all the way up to the sky again. Take a deep breath in, and then a deep breath out. Prayer position. Go back down, long reach to your toes, flat back position, back reach to your toes, and arms go up to the ceiling, big breath in, and arms back to prayer position. And we're going to do that one more time. Hands go down to your toes, nice reach forward, then tabletop position. Then back to your toes and arms all the way up to the sky and back to prayer position. Now I want you to go down on your knees and your hands into a hand and knee tabletop position. And we're just going to do some cat cows to start really bringing in the breath into our core area. I want you to breathe in and curl your back up and then breathe out and release and do a cow position. Breathe in to your cat. Breathe out to your cow. Breathe in to your cat. And breathe out to your cow. One more time. Breathe in. Curl up and breathe out. Good. Now onto your table position. Tabletop. I want you just to lift your knees off the ground and hold. We're going to start warming up those legs. And lower your knees down. Reach up again with your knees and hold. And lower down. Lift them up one more time. And from here, I want you to lift all the way back to a downward dog. 
a nice long stretch for your arms and your feet. Try to get your heels to touch the floor. If you're having a hard time, just make your feet go wider apart and that helps make sure that you can touch your heels onto the ground. We want to make sure that our feet are flat and reach and just step one leg, bend one knee and then strengthen, lengthen it and bend the other knee and lengthen and just alternate steps here so that you really lift that back heel and then put it back on the ground. Nice little pedaling position. And now back to a downward dog. And then I want you to take your hands and walk them forward to a plank. And from your plank, you're just gonna go down into a push up onto the ground. From here, you're going to release your feet so that your toes are flat on the ground. And you're gonna do a little cobra. And back down. And back to tabletop. Put your hands back. And then back to downward dog. From here, I want you to take your front leg and lift it off the ground and then bring it back down. And lift again and down. And one more time, same leg and down. Good work. Now let's do the back leg. Lift and drop it down slowly and lift it off the ground and drop it down and one more time lift and drop it down good from here walk your hands forward and slowly down push up to the floor and then from here a baby cobra and down to the ground back to tabletop Walk your hands back and then back to a downward dog. Good. Now from here, I want you to walk your hands all the way to your feet. And when you reach your feet, just enjoy the forward fold for a little bit. A nice deep stretch. You might notice that you're able to go down further than when we first started and did our first forward fold. That's because your body is getting warmer and your muscles are getting relaxed and longer. And slowly lift up, arms circle to the ceiling and back to prayer position. Good work. Now, I want you to walk all the way to the top of your mat. And then I want you to take your front leg and I want you to go back into a lunge position with your toes directly facing in front of you, both feet, and your heel on the back is off the ground. Then I want you to take your arms up to the sky with relaxed shoulders. And this is our crescent pose. From here, you're going to drop the hand, arms all the way down into a runner's lunge. And then you're going to take your hand that's on the same side of your foot in the front, and you're going to reach it all the way up for the world's greatest stretch. And then you're going to bring your arm all the way down. And you're going to bring your back leg to meet your front leg. And you're going to slowly rise up with your arms to the ceiling. And then your hands to prayer position. Drop your arms. Take your back leg now behind you for a lunge. 
and make sure that your toes are facing forward, both feet, and your heel and the back foot is off the ground. Take your arms all the way up. Relax shoulders for a crescent pose on this side. Breathe in and breathe out and smile. You're doing something good for your body. And then arms go all the way down. One hand on one side of your foot, the other hand on the other side for a runner's lunge. Then from here, you're going to take the hand that's close to the foot on the same side and you're going to reach it up all the way to the sky for the world's greatest stretch on this side. You can really feel your back twisting. You can really feel your arm reaching up to the sky. It's such a great stretch for your whole body. Now bring that arm that's up in the sky all the way down. Bring that back foot to meet your front foot. Slowly stand up and bring those arms up to the ceiling and back to prayer position. Drop your arms. Now we're going to take your front leg and go back again, but this time you're going to point this foot straight ahead and this foot is going to be pointed kind of to the side so that you can put your heel down and make sure that your stretch is nice and deep. And then we're going to lift our arms forward. Now this is called a warrior one pose. Stand nice and tall, arms up to the ceiling, shoulders relaxed. From here, you're going to open your arms, one in the front, one behind, for a warrior two. From here, you're going to lift your front palm up, and then you're going to bring it up and over for a reverse warrior. And then you're going to take that arm that's up, you're going to bring it down all the way to your foot. If you can't reach, your shin is fine, your calf, wherever on your leg you want to hold, and then the other arm comes up for a triangle pose. Nice big stretches today. It's so great to work out with you. Now take that arm, bring it forward. And bring that foot from the back to meet the front foot. Slowly stand up, arms to the ceiling, and back to prayer pose. Now the other leg goes back, so drop your arms. Bring the other leg to the back. And this foot is pointing ahead. And your other foot is kind of pointing to the side so that you can get your heel on the ground. And then give yourself a nice deep bend. And then the arms come up for warrior one. And then spread those arms out front and back for warrior two. Bring your front arm up and over for reverse warrior. And then all the way up and down to your foot. Bring the other arm up for a triangle pose. Bring that arm all the way forward. Bring your feet together. Stand up nice and tall and bring those arms up to the ceiling and back to prayer pose. Very good. Now, from here, I want you to take a little, put your feet a little wider apart than your hips. And then you're just going to bend down into a little sitting position. 
Try to make your heels go all the way to the ground, but your, your glutes are not touching the ground. If you need your hands to help you, use your hands. If you can keep your hands off the ground, do so. From here, I want you to sit all the way back. All the way, slide onto your mat so that your legs have room in front of you. And we're gonna sit nice and tall, legs in front. You're gonna reach your arms up, flex your toes, and then drop your hands to meet your toes. A nice forward bend, sitting down with your legs as straight as you can. So it's more important to have your legs straight than it is to touch your toes. So if you're doing this, don't do that. Maybe let go of your feet, straighten your legs, and just reach as far as you can. This is a better stretch. If you can touch your toes, touch your toes. From here, we're going to let go. Put your hands behind you so that your fingers are pointing away from your back, away from your hips. And you're just going to point your toes and you're going to lift your butt off the ground and then lower down. We're going to do that two more times. Lift and stretch. And down. And one more time. Lift. And down. Good. Now, bringing your front foot in for a hurdler stretch, arms reach up, and then reach for the extended leg. And I'm feeling the stretch right along here. You might be feeling it in the same spot, or you might be feeling it under your leg. Might, some of you might be feeling it across your shoulder. Wherever your body is tight, it's going to feel really good just to stretch it out. And release. And let's take the other leg in. We'll lengthen the other leg that was bent. So we're just changing legs. Back is nice and tall. Arms up. And then reach forward. Remember to breathe in and out. That's the mindful part of flexibility tra training. You gotta focus on the breath too. Sometimes I like to put some nice quiet music in the background when I'm stretching. If you um, feel like doing that, please, please feel free to do that too. And up. Now take your feet, bring them together so that we'll do a little groin stretch here. close as you can to your groin, and then take your elbow and just kind of push on your legs a bit, just to give a little gentle push for a nice stretch along here. Good. Now we're going to go back onto tabletop. You're going to take one arm and you're going to reach it to the side. And then you're going to thread it through so that your shoulder falls on the ground. And then you're going to bring it back up to tabletop. You're going to take your other arm out to the side. You're going to thread it through. And back to tabletop. Now we're just going to take our knees back a little bit further. Our arms are going to reach and we're going to do a child's pose. Reach all the way back and stretch those arms.
And then move your arms slightly to one side, just off your mat a little bit. For a side stretch, I'd move mine to the right. And then take them over onto the other side for a stretch on the other side as well. And back onto tabletop. Cross your feet and sit back. That a bit. There we go. Sorry. I'm going to cross to the back and sit up like this. Then we're going to lean back so that your back is on the ground. And you're going to take one leg straight up to the sky and you're going to put your hands behind your thighs, back of your leg, and then you're going to take your other leg and stretch it all the way out for a nice hamstring stretch. And then bring your leg in to your chest, a nice knee bend. And then twist it forward across your body and take your arm out behind you for a nice torso stretch and a nice shoulder, shoulder reach. Bring your knee back to your chest, give it a little tug. And then extend it all the way out. Arms also get extended above your head. And then bring them back in with the front leg. Tucking in for a bend on the other leg. From here, extend it all the way up for a hamstring stretch on the other side. If this is challenging, you can modify by bending your leg instead of stretching it all the way to the ground. If you are, have the flexibility, it's nice to reach it all the way out. Give it another bend. And then over and across and reach your arm to the other side. This is one of my favorite stretches. The middle. And you're going to sit up. I want you to sit cross legged. We're going to end with a side stretch on each side. Arms down by your side, nice and relaxed, nice tall back. Reach one arm up and over to the side. Center, the other arm comes up and over for a side bend on the other side. Reach long, nice long stretch with your arm. And then back, and we're going to do it one more time each side. Take your first arm up and over and reach. Reach, reach. Nice deep breath in, a nice deep breath out. And towards the end of your session is a good time to really think about a word that you love that's positive. Reach all the way back. 
I'm going to give you a moment to think about a word, a really nice positive word that you like. And my word today is respect. I have a lot of respect for you as athletes. I have a lot of respect for yoga and a lot of respect for what stretching does. I really honor the practice that we did today and I respect you for being here and doing it with me. And with that, we'll take a deep breath in, and deep breath out. Another deep breath in breath out, and a soft breath in, and a soft breath out. And that concludes our yoga session for today. Please feel free to do this session whenever you like, and continue with your athlete development, continue with everything that you enjoy doing that is full of activities. You are amazing. And as a result, make every day that you can as amazing as possible. Take great care.